What is up YouTube? This is an update video on my 13 horsepower go-kart. When I first uh, built this go-kart, I took this motor off of a generator and a lot of people know that generator motors, their shaft is uh, beveled or tapered, whatever you want to call it. I'm not really sure what you call it. But uh, it starts out one inch right here and then by the time it gets to the end of the shaft, it's like half inch. So um, there was really no way for me to take the centrifugal clutch and put it on the shaft without making some heavy modifications that would be impossible to do to this thing. So there's really no way. That's why I made this setup of having a secondary shaft right here and then just m m putting a uh, hub on the, because uh, it was e easy to modify a hub. Uh, just have the hub slide onto here and then have the this turn this into turn, turn the uh, secondary shaft and then that turn the centrifugal clutch. That's why I did all this setup. A lot of people have been saying, you know, why uh, why'd you do this? This is why. So, um, and uh, this centrifugal clutch is designed for an 8 horsepower max and this is 13 horsepower. So, obviously, it slips a lot, it overheats really fast and it just doesn't really work. So um, what I'm what I'm wanting to do is the uh, the big trike that really the 14 and a half horsepower really big trike that I made. Um, it had like five gears and reverse all, that that thing with the uh, bicycle tire in the front. That thing um, it's so dangerous. It's so scary to ride and. Really, when you're riding it, the only way to stop it is to turn it off. And right now, third gear, all the teeth are gone in the third gear. So everything is wrong with that thing. Um, so this was the centrifugal clutch that was on the big trike. The big trike has been re reduced to a uh, giant pile of scrap. Um, so this was the uh, centrifugal clutch on the trike and I'm going to try and attempt to put this onto this shaft and this centrifugal clutch is, is designed for 14 horsepower so it probably won't slip and it'll probably uh, make this go-kart a lot more fun so um why I think I can fit this centrifugal clutch onto the shaft is because this centrifugal clutch is an outboard centrifugal clutch only which means on this side it's one inch on the other side it is half an inch. So what I think I can do is take all this stuff off, take the hub off, and then cut the shaft a little bit, like maybe half an inch, and then so this end can slide up to the one inch part right here, and then I'll turn the motor on, and then take my uh, angle grinder and grind down the very last bit of the uh, shaft to half an inch. Therefore, I can slide it on, slide this centrifugal clutch on, and uh, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully, that half inch, because the half inch will be right here, taking all the load from the from the chain, and hopefully it won't snap. If I do it right, it'll work. If I don't do it right, I just totally screwed up this motor and made it to where this motor is completely worthless to this go kart. So um, I'm really trying to take my time on this and think about if I can do this. If I can't do this, I'm not going to do it and I'm not going to upload this video. So if I did upload this video, you I can I probably did it. So um So yeah, so again, I'm going to really try and make sure I can do it because I don't want to ruin this shaft because this does work. It works a little bit and this this centrifugal clutch hand, you know, it's all right. It pushes the thing it works. The chain um, overheats a lot, so therefore the oil goes away, and then there's the the some links start fusing to each other, so the chain get, has, has to be replaced every like couple of weeks. So um, so it, it works. I'm just trying to improve it. If I can't, I won't do it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do it, and hopefully it works. All right, I uh, I went for it. And I think I got it. Um, all I had to do was uh, turn the motor on, and while the motor was running, take my angle grinder and just grind grind this down to uh, to fit that part in there. So that fits on there nicely. It wobbles a little bit, 
and it fits nicely right there. So, uh, yeah, it works. It doesn't uh, wobble back and forth at all, which is nice. Uh, the only thing that scares me is uh, how thin this is. This is a little less than a half an inch, and it's uh, yep, it's hollow all the way through with uh, with threads. So it uh, the threads go all the way up to there. So uh, yeah, if this snaps off, I just ruined this really cool motor, and uh, replacing it would be. Um, not that bad, but it would cost me a hundred bucks for a new motor, and uh, it wouldn't be the 13 horsepower go kart, you know, that I designed this thing for. But um, but anyway, hopefully this works. I made it to where uh, this the lip all the way down there, the lip all the way down there, rests on this ridge right here, and then this lip on the outside rests on there. So really, this thing doesn't do anything except hold it on. All the pressure and all the torque is being on here and on this side. So um, hopefully it doesn't snap off. Hopefully it'll hopefully it'll stay on. Hopefully it all works out. Cause uh, you know I'd be really bummed out if it didn't. So um, so yeah, I'm gonna put all this stuff back on and uh, test it out. All right, I uh, I got it on and. Seems to work just fine. There's a little bit of play in there, but it's, it's not the chain. It's the uh, sprocket down there. It just moves back and forth just a tiny bit. Um, the one thing that uh, kind of sucks is uh, I made this thing just really now. It really now goes faster. So uh, so I really need to replace that sprocket with a much bigger one to uh, make it go slower and be more safe because really this thing's uh, for off-road only and you really don't want to go that fast going off-road, especially on this thing because this thing rolls over pretty easily. And then um, another thing is uh, if you're riding it for over five minutes, the clutch starts to heat up and uh, expand. Therefore, uh, the clutch really never disengages when you're riding it, so therefore... You know, you really have to hit the brakes hard to stop. And uh, when you do stop, the motor is like chugging along. It's really trying to push you forward because the clutch just doesn't want to engage. Um, I haven't, all I need, pro all I probably need to do is turn down the uh, the idle. Hopefully that fixes it and uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, mess up anything. Uh, the pull cord broke off, so that's going to be a fun to fix. Uh, it's not that, it's not too bad, but it's, you know, not too easy. And, uh, so I got that on. I just need to make that sprocket right there. Just a little bit bigger, not too big. Cause I do want this thing to have some speed. And then, um, yesterday I noticed this right here. That's the inner tube right there. Um, these tires are actually meant to be tubeless, but I had to put an inner tube in here for that I put a patch right there and uh didn't it uh, the patch didn't hold so I just put an inner tube in this thing luckily I did because this whole thing is uh just you know bulging out and cracking open and these old tires if you look at this one that one's really bad and uh so yeah uh these front tires are really bad I'm going to have to replace them soon I'm just gonna wait for this to pop if it doesn't pop, why replace it, you know? So, um, if it does pop, I need to replace both of them because the ones, I can buy these tires at Tractor Supply. That's actually one I bought at Tractor Supply, but they're a little bit smaller. They're like two inches smaller. So, uh, I don't, I have to replace both. If I re replace one of them, there's going to be off balance and there's, you know, one's going to be off the ground and all that kind of stuff. So if that thing pops, I got to replace them both, which that'll be really fun. So, um, so yeah, this thing is, uh, really fun now. This thing takes off. I'm not kidding. This thing will spin tires in grass now, now with the new clutch. I just hope the new clutch doesn't snap off because, you know, the tiny shaft on there. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to put a bigger sprocket on there and fix the pull cord. All right. I, uh. 
cut off the old hub off of the axle and I cut off the uh, sprock the old sprocket off the old hub and then I welded on the old hub to the new sprocket uh, I didn't feel like buying a sprocket or I didn't feel like buying a hub so I just uh, used the old one it was a little bit bigger as you can see there's a little bit of room on each side uh, I made like these little metal shims and I like, shimmed it on each side it doesn't look that even but um yeah I don't know hopefully it'll Hopefully it'll work. Um, if anything, there's gonna be just the tiniest bit of wobble, but um, so yeah. Uh, this originally, the original one on here was a 28 tooth, and this one is now a 36. Can you read that? 36 and 28. So um, at Tractor Supply, they have a, a sprocket somewhere in the middle of that. Um, if this is like, if, when I put this on, if it's like too slow and it has a ridiculous amount of power, I'll go to Tractor Spy and get the other sprocket and uh, put it on this and see if that'll work. Um, I just want to try in the, I just want to try this one and see how, and uh, just see how it works. You know, see how powerful this thing can really be. So um, yeah, let me weld it back on.